PID. There's a, there's a pump, Elmo pump, configured as a blower. There's a variable speed drive, MM440. There's a pressure gauge and a pressure transducer which is connected back to the MM440 and a valve to allow us to regulate the flow and therefore the pressure. Here's the same thing in a block diagram. The drive, the motor, the blower, the valve to cut off the airflow, the meter to indicate the actual pressure, and the pressure transducer that's fed back to the MM440. We set the internal motorised potentiometer using a BOP, for example. Here's the key parameters we're starting with. The set point, taking as 10%. We're connecting that set point to the uh, PID set point. The feedback, which is coming in via the analog input, we're connecting here. We switch on the PID with 2200, and then we can adjust the P and the I terms to tune the stability of the system. Let's see how that works. With these settings, if we start the drive, it's relatively unstable, especially when we change the load setting by blocking the airflow. These settings give a more stable operation. but still not ideal. Now we'll try the auto-tune. Now we'll try it with auto-tuning set up again. Doesn't take long to auto-tune. You'll notice there were a couple of current limit events there. With these settings, the drive responds very well to step loads. Here's the values the drive chose to work with. The gain term was set to 0 0.577 and the integral term to 0 0.06.